Hi and welcome back. This is a continuation of the Botkins and Nat and uh, lid motor um, earth ground antenna Tesla energy experiment. It's, it's something we've been working on to enhance the the uh, CFL light to uh, help it get more energy into the system. This is my lunch box with no batteries in it. I've gutted it as far as batteries but it is the circuit, the, the uh, lunchbox circuit that you can see on my other videos. And what I've done is I've set up supercapacitors on uh, the charging, or I'm sorry, the uh, driving source side. And I've got two things um, that are different. I've got the earth ground that's going into a spike in the ground outside there through this wire. Comes in through there like this. And then I added an antenna, which uh, Bodkins and Nat are, are working on right now. And this is the other part of it. And I just went up to that. Now, you're supposed to have aluminum plates with uh, insulation between the plates. Um, there's another guy, I think it's Box888 or Box88 uh, on uh, YouTube is working on this project. It's a Tesla thing. I anyway, it, uh, it pulls energy out of the environment which is real interesting. Now I've also got a 10 watt solar panel hooked up to this system and I'm going to be showing that too here and that's a larger solar panel than I normally use uh, for these experiments but it, it helps uh, show things. Anyway everything is zeroed out. All the meters are zeroed. Uh, this is a meter for the voltage on the lunch box and I'm using a voltage regulator to make sure that the voltage doesn't go beyond 12 volts and hurt the internal uh, delicate circuitry in the lunch box. What I'm going to do is unground the supercapacitors. Those are the supercapacitors right there. And I've got the wires leading in here and they're grounded out. I'm going to unground the supercapacitors. There's supercapacitor voltage slightly climbing. You'll get a little bounce out of that. I'm going to connect the earth ground. This is the earth ground and the voltage here that I'm actually recording across a diode here, which is very strange. I don't know why the reading is that way, but that's how it's happening. Just connect the earth ground. Now you're going to start to see these voltages climb very slowly. There's a voltage coming up on the um, earth ground. That'll probably stay there right there, but the uh, supercapacitor um, energy level will start to climb on that and this is not connected to the solar panel there's the solar panel disconnected right now and it's not connected to any wall outlet any battery anything at all this is strictly energy that I'm drawing out of the environment and it's coming out of uh, like I say a stake in the ground outside there in through this wire into the supercapacitor on the negative side and then I'm picking up from the antenna part of it, which is just the frame of that window, the positive. Now I've got a diode on that side, which is backwards, which I don't understand, but it wouldn't work the other way around. And that's backwards, but that's that's the way this, it somehow pumps energy, and I don't understand the dynamic of that. Um, Tesla talked a lot about it, I suppose, and there's other people that know all about it, but this is the only way I could get it to work. And there's the diode on the, um, on the negative. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to charge up the supercapacitors with the solar panel. That's right here. I'm going to plug in the solar panel. Now this is going to charge the supercap bank. This is energy coming in off that 10 watt solar panel out there. It's a 12 volt um, solar panel rated at about 10 watts and this will pump on up. Now right now I don't have the lunch box connected to this. This is the voltage regulator and this is what's coming off the super cap bank. And uh, this will hold the voltage at 12 volts so I don't hurt the lunch box circuit. And you can see this is climbing up. Now look at this. This has gone to a negative on the um, on the uh, ground, earth ground part of this. You can see where the voltage is sitting across that diode. And here again, I'm not quite sure the dynamic of why this is doing what it's doing, but this is what it's doing. 
Now this is voltage going into the lunch box. There's nothing right now. I don't have it connected at the voltage regulator. And of course the light isn't on. Nothing's happening. All I'm doing is putting energy into the SuperCat bank. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug the solar panel. There goes the solar panel. It's done. Now, this will drain down slightly. And I had a viewer ask me about super caps and if they drain on their own. And I'm experiencing that. Normally a cap will sit there at a voltage, but this does drain down on its own, which is interesting on these super capacitors. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the voltage regulator to the lunch box. There goes the light. There goes voltage at the lunch box. Okay, that's going to be holding 12 volts for a little while until the uh, super cap bank runs down. And look at what's going on at that diode. You notice now it's plus, it's not negative. And that's measured across this diode between the earth ground and the super cap bank. Now I'm going to disconnect See so if I can pan back. I'm going to disconnect the ground. Watch what happens to the voltage. Connect it again. Disconnect it. Connect it again. Obviously something is happening there. There's voltage on the super cap bank going down. Light's still on. Voltage regulator is trying its best to hold 12 voltage, but uh, 12 volts, but it's dropping off but the light's still going at this point. And the cap pulser's doing its thing. You can see it blinking away there. Now I've tried moving the cap pulser up and down, up or down, but uh, that's taking the back end energy, storing it up in a capacitor right there, and then feeding it right back into the front. And I believe that's what we're seeing here, is that pulsing on the super cap. You see that's starting to go down now. As the super cap drops off, there's voltage on the super cap, this voltage coming out the back end here somehow, or going in, I'm not quite sure how that works, it's going down too. But uh, very interesting experiment, um, light's still on at this point. And uh, I don't know what to make of it except that there is something to be said about having an earth ground and some sort of an antenna in this circuit. And anyway, that is a continuation of this earth ground and uh, antenna with the uh, CFL circuit.